In this province, we are working tirelessly to make sure that we keep you safe. I have had a real focus on Delft in this last month. Uh, First Thursdays kicked off with a walk in Delft with our neighborhood watchers. Uh, The reason we chose Delft is it's one of the crime hotspots in the region where we deploy our LEAP offices and we held First Thursdays there so we could listen to citizens uh, and citizens came forward and spoke to me about some of the issues, some of the service delivery issues and so I followed that up with a visit to uh, both the police station but also uh, to our healthcare facility uh, in Delft. Uh, We can definitely see the impact of more and more people moving to this province uh, for services. This is a healthcare facility that was built 30 years ago uh, for 200,000 people and we've probably got fivefold that now that live in that region. And so obviously this is where budgets versus service delivery come in, but it was really good to be on the ground, engaging with citizens and then saying, well, let's go and have a look at how we can probably put file management systems in place or what are the other programs we can put in place to make sure that services increase and that we can actually put through more people through that system. I also met with the station commander, uh, with the LEAP officers and SAPS officers, and then also did a walkabout uh, in parts of Delft, specifically the crime hotspots parts. Uh, we also went uh, to Blickisdorp and had a look at uh, what's happening there. Uh, spoke to citizens on the ground as well. Making sure that we are innovating and putting new programs in place every single day and understanding the impact of our safety plan and uh, how we can also tweak that to get better and better results. Uh, I think also as a follow-up this week, uh, I must uh, reflect on the jobs numbers and once again, Uh, When the third quarter jobs numbers came out, uh, we saw 305,000 more jobs in the Western Cape. Uh, That's really uh, good to see. And again, if you take quarter three last year to quarter three this year, uh, a 12.6% increase in the number of jobs. And again, the most jobs created out of any province in South Africa. Thank you very much to the entrepreneurs and those businesses that are growing and creating these very jobs. Uh, This week also saw our budget policy meeting and a cabinet meeting talking about the medium-term budget policy statement, which our Minister of uh, Finance will be delivering uh, next week. Uh, That is the indication of what we're going to be spending our money on into the next year. Of course, we are very, very concerned with the shortfall of funding that's been announced by the National Minister of Finance, and we do not agree uh, with a number of the allocations made or the shrinking allocations made to this province, and we are engaging with national government on that. It cuts back on services to the very citizens uh, that we need to deliver services to, but at the same time, more and more citizens coming to this province for those very services, and so we are busy having an engagement at national level. We cannot uh, accept the kind of di- uh, division or, or uh, uh, the amount of money that's being sent to this province. Uh, we need to make sure we fight uh, for more. And then, of course, uh, I must reflect on, first of all, the peaceful protests that have taken place across this province uh, in the last week and thank every single citizen who've gone out there to show uh, their position or their opinion on the Middle East crisis uh, and do so en masse and peacefully. Thank you very much. Uh, We have a right in our country, a hard-fought right, to be able to raise your voice, to be able to show your dissatisfaction, to be able to... Uh, come out with your opinion and uh, you know that is sacrosanct and supported and must be protected but it must be peaceful and so thank you very much to all of you who've come out we are a melting pot of different cultures of different religions of uh, people from across the world who uh, really are able to live here in peace and harmony and we need to make sure we retain that that is our competitive edge and uh, so first of all Uh, make sure that into the future we do exactly the same thing. Let's do this peacefully and not disruptively. Uh, That's who we should be known for. We are better together and we are better uh, in our diversity. Have a great week. Thank you.